Hello everybody, my name is Paul Abernathy and I'm the Manager of Codes and Standards here at Encore Wire. On today's episode of From the Desk of Codes and Standards, we're going to talk about something that is very unique to Encore Wire and it deals with our MC and AC cable. And what it is, is how you identify the product in the field from a glance and how you can get everything you want to know about the cable itself and the conductors that are in it based on labels that are applied at intervals along the cable itself. What are we talking about? Smart color ID. Now this is very unique to Encore Wire. Now you can take cables and you can paint them and that's perfectly acceptable and it has a, a very definitive use. But when it comes to putting labels on it, we're able to put a lot more information on it at a glance uh, for you to be able to see exactly if you're an inspector or you're an engineer or you're walking the job site, I can look at it from a distance and I know what size conductors are in there. I can look at it and tell you what type of armor it is, whether it's a steel or aluminum armor, uh, which is really important when you're choosing a fitting because you don't want to use set screw type fittings which can pierce the armor. You can't use set screw on an aluminum armor, but you can on a steel. So it kind of helps you out as far as in your inspection process. And this kind of dates all the way back to when the actual Encore wire was the very first to invent a colored sheathing on our non-metallic sheath cables. So you're probably all familiar with that today where you have the white, yellow, orange, and, and black sheathing on our non-metallic sheath cable. That was something that was started by Encore Wire years ago. Now it's an industry standard, but that was something that was started by Encore. Now, now we've done the same thing. Rather than color the armor, we put what's called a smart color ID system so that we can give you even more information. And we're going to repeat that at intervals all along the cable. Now the standard UL1569 or UL4, which is both the MC and AC standards, don't require this labeling. We can do it at the reel. We don't do it. But what we do is we put that on the product so that at a glance, the inspectors, the engineers, anybody that needs to be on the project can look at it and tell what size, what type, what they're dealing with on an inspection. It helps your inspection go smoother and it gives you more assurance that the right product is being installed for the right application or the right size. And it doesn't require any complicated color scheme, what the stripes mean, what the colors mean. It doesn't get complicated like that. Once you learn the basics, and we're going to talk about them today, you're going to be able to look at it at a glance. And whether it's MC or AC cable, whether it's healthcare facility, whether it's the smart ground products, you're going to be able to tell what it's used for uh, when it's installed properly by its glance it'll make it just that easy for you to understand it. All right, so let's kind of look at it now. So what we're going to do is look at the products. Here you see that the MC cable, this top one here, we're looking at the very top, you'll see that this is a 12-2. You can tell by the yellow. Uh, and you notice that it says MCAL, which means that it has an aluminum armor, and it is an MC product. And of course, in the right here, you have the black and white conductors that are enclosed inside of it. Now, if you look at the very top, you'll actually see that the guide gives you some basic information to help you understand. If it's an 8 gauge conductor inside, then it's going to have black labels. If it's a 10 gauge conductor inside, it's going to have an orange label. Most notably over here where it talks about the wire gauge here on the left. Uh, when you see that it's a 12 gauge, it's going to have a yellow wrapper. And if it's a 14 gauge, it's going to have a white wrapper. So immediately at a glance, I know exactly the size conductors that are in this cable. That's real important as an inspector, especially if I'm going into certain areas or certain applications that require a specific size of conductor. Here I'm able to look at it at a glance and tell what it is based on this color scheme. I don't have to learn any complicated striping colors or anything like that. I don't have to keep a little guide in my pocket. Just remember what we've always taught you about non-metallic sheet cable in that new coloring scheme that happened years ago. I guess it's not so new anymore but now we've carried it over into the Smart Color ID system. Uh, and this is a patented process by Encore Wire. So here it is, the yellow in this cable, for example, the very top one, is a 12 gauge. Uh, here it also shows you the MCAL here in the middle. Uh, that This right here reminds you that this is an aluminum armor. The other thing to remember is the color of the label. Since it has yellow for the size of the conductors, it has the other color label tells you what type of armor it is, all right, or what use it is. So in this case, it's a traditional MC, and if you go up here to the top, you'll notice that if it was steel armor, this label would be blue. It's an aluminum armor, so it's why it's gray. If it was fire alarm, then it would have a red label on it. 
If it was a healthcare facility, it'd have a green label somewhere on it. And if it's a smart ground product, it'll have a purple label on it. So as you can see here, this is a traditional MC, the first one we're looking at at the top. And it is black conductors and white conductors in, in this cable itself. Okay, So it's a 12-2, it's got a black and a white, and in G. Now the ground in most of these brand circuit type of cables are going to be green. Now the code allowed, the National Electrical Code in 250.118 allows the equipment grounding conductor to be bare, covered, or insulated. So when you see larger MC, now these are more branch circuit sizes, but when you see larger feeder type MCs, you're not going to have labels on there because they're specific use for feeder applications. And when you're dealing with those, you're going to have much larger conductors that are involved in that. Okay, so that's one thing to, to notice here when you see the different labels. And these are generally your brand circuit applications. So as you scroll down, you see here under the smart ground products, you have the purple label as it said. You also have the label that's yellow, which reminds us that it is a 14, uh, 12 gauge, and you notice the 12-2 on it. And of course, it repeats it with another um, purple label. It reminds you that this is MC, and then the SG lets you know that it's a smart ground, which means it's outside armor can be used as an equipment grounding conductor. That's why you'll notice in this, it has no insulated equipment grounding conductor in there. Next is, in order to make it a healthcare facility grade MC, then what you've got is a green label that was added. That reminds you that yes, it is 12-2, that's still printed on it, but now it has the purple to remind you that it's a smart ground, but they've also changed it and added the HCF to it, which is healthcare facility. Now, in order to be a healthcare facility, most of you that are very knowledgeable in the code know that this cable has to be in conformance with uh, NEC 517.13 A and B, A being that the armor itself has to be qualified as a 250.118 equipment grounding conductor, and then of course a redundant path is required, so you have to install an equipment grounding conductor inside of the cable, and of course in accordance with NEC 517.13 B, it has to be insulated, so that's when that gets insulated. Next we have AC healthcare facility. Same application here, you see that at HCF, uh, AL stands for the aluminum armor. It tells you there's a 14.3 with ground in there, and again, it is healthcare facility. And the healthcare AC cable, the armor in itself, is considered an equipment grounding conductor under 250.118, but in order to make it a healthcare facility, as always, in accordance with 517.13b, we have to add an insulated equipment grounding conductor and that's what we've done here, and that's what turns a normal AC into a healthcare facility AC. Okay, and then of course we have our FPLP, uh, which is going to be used in uh, applications for plenum, uh, or mainly for a, um, a uh, fire alarm systems and control cable application for the fire alarm. All right, and so this tells you that it's red. So this is what the the chart up here says, and that's telling you right there that it's designed for fire alarm applications. And it tells you that it's an aluminum armor, uh, and it tells you the color of the conductors that are in there, black and white. All right. And because it is an MC cable, as always, it has to have an equipment ground in it. The only time that it does not is when it is actually an MC smart ground product. Okay, So don't get those confused. Also, you'll notice in these pictures here in the middle, the ones with the purple label on them, they have an anti-short bushing in there. That is not required by the National Electrical Code for MC Cable uh, under 330.40. However, we will provide some with it, and you can use them. It's always a good thing to do, but it is not required. In AC Cable, it is required. MC, it is not required. Okay, But we will provide them for you in case it, it helps you out on your job or somebody might not be as knowledgeable. and you end up being told you have to have them. If you have that problem, always feel free to contact us at codes at oncowire.com. We're more than happy to get involved and explain that MC Cable doesn't need anti-short bushings. It's designed into the fitting, but some people get confused with that. So hopefully I've shown you how important that smart, uh, smart color ID system is. Uh, example, I can look right at this and tell you that it, without even reading it, I can just look at the colors and tell you that this is 12 gauge in here, that this is the gray, so I know this is an aluminum armor. Now, when I want to look in more detail, it'll tell me exactly the number of conductors that are in there. It'll tell me what colors they are. And this is repeated on and off. So even if I had colored striping and it got worn off or they cut a piece that didn't have the striping on it, you don't know what's in there. 
Here you'll always know. Now, when you're going to make a termination, if you happen to cut it where one of the wrappers are, then it's real easy just to take your knife and pull it in here and actually just take the wrapper all the way off. Okay, So you can remove these. They get heat shrunk onto it. You can just take it and remove it off, make your connection metal to metal with your connector, and you're done with it. These are repeated through the entire length of the cable reel, so it makes it that simple. So hopefully we've answered any of your questions you might have had on Smart Color ID. Very innovative idea. As an inspector for many, many years and ahead of jurisdictions in Virginia, I can tell you that when we would go through applications, this does to the light commercial industry and to the commercial industry what the colorized non-metallic sheet cable did when you started making it orange and black and white and, and um and yellow. It helped us at a glance. When I walked into a kitchen, I knew that it had to be done in yellow. This does the same thing. Maybe you're doing multifamily dwellings, a high rise of apartments, and all the kitchens have to be done in 12, two, a minimum of two small appliance brand circuits. At a glance, I can make sure that they use 12 wire in those areas. As an inspector, it saves me time. I get to move through. As an installer, it saves them time. The, the inspector's there, less time, and you move through the job site. That's the beauty of the Smart Color ID system. If you have any other questions about the Smart Color ID system or any of Encore Wire's products, contact your local Encore Wire representative or you can call us here at Encore Wire or how about this? You can even email us at codes, that's C O D E S, at EncoreWire.com and we'll answer all your questions, whether it's about the National Electrical Code or whether about Encore Wire products or anything about the wire and cable industry. Remember that Uncle Wire Codes and Standards is always there to answer your questions. Thanks for following us and thanks for watching this video from the desk of Codes and Standards. Until next time, stay safe.